Hey TikTok, we're at Walmart. Waiting on my skank ass husband to get his skank ass slice water. Who are we waiting on? Daddy. That's right. <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> You're. He's not Spider Man, actually. But I am! <laughs> wonderful mom went and got the kids some backpacks um now as you know my kids are homeschooled so they don't actually need a school bag however i follow the philosophy <laughs> if it's something that held you back from going to homeschool um, that you're afraid your kid might miss out on, then just go do it. No one can stop you from getting backpacks, and my kids will use these. Um, I particularly don't want to waste money on them, but my mom loved to, and she had a great time doing it, and my kids loved it. She also got them lunch bags. Most likely this will be organizing homeschool stuff. These are the real reasons that we're doing the TikTok. So I had asked my mom to go to Aldi because all the homeschool moms on TikTok were ranting and raving about the Aldi $6.99, $7 um, teacher planners that they had at Aldi. I asked for one, I told her I'd pay her back, um, and she got me two. She was like, will you have two kids? This could have taken care of two kids, just so you know. Just so you know, I am grateful, and I love it. However, let me tell you why. Okay, so the one that I actually picked was this one. She got me this one as an extra, which I actually love as well. They are different. Um, they're basically the same. However, the templates inside are slightly different decoration and setup but very like same basic necessities are met so right away it has this where obviously you can oh i am spider-man <laughs> first thing we love is this this comes out and it basically is a bookmark wherever you are that day and you can just put it in and out. My mom did say that the Aldi that she went to, that these were missing, these little note, sticky notes that were added on top of here, and that she had to hunt for the ones that didn't have them removed. Guys, don't take that, that's weird. Just buy it, don't be weird. But anyway, so you have the daily bookmark, and then they have the, of course, the obligatory this planner belongs to. Now, this wasn't built for homeschool. Um, this wasn't built for homeschool parents or guardians. However, it can be easily formatted to do that or accommodate that. They are made for traditional teachers. There's amazing things going on in here, though. So we have the overlook of the entire year all the way to July 2024. And then we have the contact information. Holidays and special dates. Important dates and birthdays. This is a great place to put grades or tasks or basically anything the it's your oyster there and there's a lot of them but you can always put off more and then we have a seating chart this can obviously be optimized and used in a different way 
We have the grid. We have plenty of notes. And then each month ends like this. The one before, the one that we're on, and the one after. Goals, priorities, notes, remember, doodles, things of that nature. Each month has a beautiful little, um, I don't know, inspirational thing that it kind of has. It's beautiful art. And each month, basically, we'll do the same thing. I love that. You put what they did that day. You can put it through subjects. You could um, separate it through kids. Like, the really, it could be whatever you wanted. And that's every week is like that. And there's plenty of room. I love that. Um, let's see here. So, we get past July. And we get to a place called Communication. There's student info. Again, this could be used in so many different ways. This is for talking to parents, but it could be talking about with your kid about like um, situations or about coaches. Um, personally, my daughter, she's in homeschool and has been for a few years, but she is part of the public school, the grade school. Their sports, she's part of the cheer team, so she's in cheer class right now. This would be a great place to keep track of any time you needed to have contact um, or any issues. They have a lot of them, honestly. And then we have right here communication receipt. Interesting, interesting. Maybe the kid could have like something it felt about the situation. Perhaps. And there's a lot of them. Hopefully we don't need all those. Substitute teacher info. Again, that could be for like if your kids have to go to someone else for the week. Like if there was an emergency, you could probably fill out this information, have it ready to go. And again, this stuff could be used in many different ways and not just one. And there's a lot of places for notes. Sorry, my dog, my kid's like breathing like a dog over here. <laughs> Let's see here. Website logins, passwords. Very nice. That's smart. Field trip information. I love that. Love you, mommy. I love you. Be good boy. This is the best part, Roman. Look all these stickers for the calendar or if your kids are like really big into I did a good job you know stickers that sort of thing look at all those and for teachers in public schools or private schools I think this planner would be great for you I love this little pocket in the back a little dry erase board for notes like it said in the front like it has the same in the front I love it let's just do a quick gander and see how different this one is cute It's basically the same, it just has a different template, different decor. I love it. I hope you guys found this interesting and I don't know, follow, like, and share if you want more homeschool content.